welcome everybody to this old time fiddle workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play U Piney Mountain. This is a modal tune from West Virginia. It's very popular here. It's a very cool tune. It's played by many different fiddlers, so there's a lot of different versions. I'm going to be teaching you the version that I picked up from Ernie Carpenter. It's my take on his version. And uh, U Piney Mountain is also related to the tune um, Blackberry Blossom by Ed Haley. It's very similar as well. So it's a really cool tune. There's a lot of different ways to play it. You can play it crooked, you can play it straight. Um, it's in cross tuning, so go ahead and tune up your fiddles. You're going to want to have cross tuning, A cross tuning, so the strings from low to high will be A, E, A, E. And the way you get your fiddle tuned that way, if you're not familiar with it, is just take the G and D strings and bring them up a whole step to A and E. Your strings won't break um, as long as you don't over tighten them and you'll get this uh, cross A tuning, also known as sawmill tuning. This tune can also be played in cross G tuning, which is just G, D, G, D, or any other variant of cross tuning. I played it um, on my Appalachian String Band album. I recorded this in cross C tuning with a five string fiddle, so that, that's the way I do it as well. So the way I'm gonna show um, this tune and break it apart is first I'm just gonna play it at regular speed one time so you can familiarize yourself with the tune. Then I'll break it down and play it a little bit slower, um, just so you can see it in kind of slow motion. What I'm doing for advanced players, you can probably pick it up from the slower version. And then after that, I'll break down the tune into um, its fragments, into phrases, and we'll do a call and response thing where I'll play you a piece of the tune, then um, you'll have a chance to try to play it back. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and play it uh, one time. Um, this is You Piney Mountain. <laughs> Here we go. So there you go, there's the tune played fast. Now I'm gonna slow it down quite a bit and show you, give you a little bit more detailed look at the melody and the phrasing before we break it apart. Here's the slow version. That slowed down a little bit. You can see more of what's going on there. And now I'm going to break it into phrases. So, um, and after I break it into phrases, I'll then show you the bowing that I use um, to give you some hints on how you could approach the bowing on this tune the way that I do it. So let's first break it into phrases here. Um, we have the first phrase, which starts like this. Okay, so the way this video will work is I'll play that phrase and I'll give you a pause like that to play it back and then I'll play the next phrase, give you a pause to play it back. 
And if you need to fast forward, rewind, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can even use the slow motion feature, which is pretty handy. Um, all right, so here we go again. I'll break down the phrases. Here's the first phrase. Second phrase. Third phrase. Okay, so it's kind of like the first, but with just the uh, those last notes put on. So there's the third phrase again. And then you have the tag. Okay, let's go through those again. This will be the second half um, of the A part, which is going to have the final tag in it. So, uh, beginning phrase of the second half of the A part. Okay, once you get there, we're going to have the final tag of the A part, which sounds like this. So we'll put that together, it should sound like this. Okay, let's go over those phrases again on the A part. about the bowing right now. I'm not doing the bowing the same way that I would if we played it a little bit quicker. So don't worry about the bowing at all right now. All right, back to those phrases. Uh, second half of the A part. Oops, sorry, this go like that. And then the tag. Let's put all those pieces together and just play the A part slow one time through. I think I totally taught that wrong. I think there's, we missed the high part. Let's see. We're leaving that part out. So um, my mistake, we have to add in this phrase to the A part. Um, so after we get uh, past this part, We're going to slide up to this E. <clears throat> Again, that uh, section we left up. Figured it out now. Let's try to put that whole A section together, slowly.
Now the timing is very confusing on that slide into that E part. Don't worry about that now. It's a bit crooked and playing it slower just makes it more confusing on uh, how the timing should go. But listen um, to how I played it uh, in the beginning of the video and you'll get a sense for the timing and as you learn to speed it up you'll be able to um, adjust your timing uh, on that part. All right, so that's the A part right there. That's the A part, um, pretty much the bowing I use. We'll break the bowing down here in a minute. Let's look at the B part now. The B part basically starts with this big slide lick and uses the tag from the A part as well. So a lot of the um, phrases in this section are uh, borrowed from the first part. So let's look at it. It starts out with that slide <clears throat> and it walks up to it. That's the first phrase. Here's the second one. Ooh, now this is confusing at this speed. Let me try to play it a little bit faster and see where I'm at. Okay, so here's the first phrase. Uh, second phrase. third phrase. You get a little slide there on that C note. I'm also grabbing that G while my pinky is still down. Um, if you have trouble with that or it's screeching, you can just let your pinky off for a minute. But I recommend training yourself to leave your pinky down and you'll get these two notes together which is also a really cool double stop that you can use uh, in this tune as a variation. <clears throat> so uh, let's go over those phrases again. Okay, moving on. Next set of phrases in the B part. And then the tag. Mm -hmm. Sorry, got lost there a minute. I'm trying to find my way through the tune too. It's tricky to teach these modal tunes. I haven't taught in a while. I'm trying to break these down in my head. <clears throat> Hopefully you're getting the idea. All right, let's go over the B part slow. It'll make a lot more sense. Also, you see that little triplet pull off that's happening on the A string here between the pinky, um, third and second finger. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and we'll use a slur, of course, when we go to bow that. So it'll be nice and crisp um, and flow with the rhythm. All right, so here we go. We'll break. Uh, we'll just play the phrases for the B part again. All right, one more.
more time on that B part. Also, I, I remember to add in this little note here um, on this string, uh, see if you can catch it this time. That guy. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> We're going to speed it up a little bit, start to put it together and see how many mistakes I made teaching it. All right, from the top, here is uh, the A part played slow, the B part played slow. We'll play it a few times together. You can get your fingers around the melody and then we'll look at how we bow this thing and iron out any little imperfections that we find. That's pretty close. Um, let's start taking a look at the bowing that we got going on there. <clears throat> um, this is pretty interesting bowing. It's a combination of just regular saw strokes where you're just putting one note per bow stroke and kind of longer two note slurs, which is a longer saw stroke where it's just two notes per bow. And then we're also going to add in some three note slurs as well which is really a, a classic bow stroke as well, especially in this style of uh, fiddling, which they call the Upland South. Um, the High Alleghenies, uh, where these fiddlers were from, played in this style. Um, at least that's what the, uh, the professor types tell me. So, yeah, let's look at this bowing. Um, what I do here is, I, I, to, to kick it off, I just do two saw strokes to get me in with these uh, pickup notes, which are the open E, then the uh, second finger on G, and then basically the downbeat starts on the ring finger here on the A note. And by that point, I want to be going down. And then I start doing some slurs. So um, this is what the bowing is like on the uh, first phrase. So just up and down for the pickup notes and then we're going to uh, slur these slur so uh, A to B and then A to G are just two note slurs down up rest of that phrase is pretty simple because it's just uh, regular uh, one note per bow in there. So the whole thing should look like this. And then the next phrase, the way we bow that is pretty simple too that's all 
there's no slurs in there, I don't think. So if we put these two together, this is what the bowing should be. Pretty simple. Really the only slurs in there are between A and B and A and G. Um, now what I do is because I um, end this uh, phrase on this um, up bow, the next phrase starts I actually tend to slur the two pickup notes on the second phrase with the same bow stroke. <clears throat> so it would look like this. I'll continue that out and show you the rest of the bowing there. But um, you can either uh, slur with the up stroke, continuing from the phrase, first phrase into the second phrase, you can slur across the bar there and get all those notes on up stroke, or you can just go back to the same bowing we used and break up the pickup notes by just going down up and then get back down on the, the A note, which is really important because that's the downbeat and that'll help you really feel the beat and get into the bowing pattern if you make sure you land on that down on the A. <clears throat> but let's look at the rest of it here. So let's see what we got. So we got. That's all the same. Boeing, just the two note slurs. That's where we get into the three note slur. That's three notes on one upstroke. do the same thing on the next string. So and then we're going to kind of do a bow rock and a push at the end to end that phrase. So here's the that little bit again which is a really cool three note slurs. So that's pretty much the bowing we have um, for, the, for that part of the A part. Then we're going to move on <clears throat> to this um, slide up to the E. I'm not so clear on this, how to break this down. At least on the beginning part. I guess you'll slur, do a two note slur here between the uh, C and the D, second and third finger. And that with an up, and then we have um, this tag, we'll do all single strokes until we get to the very lowest string, or we'll do that three note up bow again. And then, again, we'll do that on this uh, three, three note uh, up bow on that string too. So pretty much the same bowing that we used earlier in that part, where we're kind of doing these three note uh, up bows on um, the notes that happen between the second and the third finger and then and then we end on a down with a kind of rock up. So here's that uh, tag one more time. That's what it should sound like sped up. 
Why don't I try playing the whole A part through um, at kind of mid-tempo and you can see all the bowings. Um, you can try practice playing along. set up a little bit, but that's the idea. That's it. Oh, woo! All right, let's take a look at the... Um, how to bow the B part, which should be a little bit more familiar because it's just kind of borrowed parts from the A part. Um, pretty similar bowing, so. Uh, uh, that's all played with the down, up, up. Squeaking. kind of just a quick walkthrough of the bowing of the B part. Um, the other cool thing about this tune is that you can hit these big um, drone strikes if you're going into drone strikes. Haha. <laughs> if you're going into uh, one of these lead notes on the downbeat like <laughs> Let's play it together a few more times and um, you can fast forward and rewind this video and kind of get an idea how to break that down a little bit more. And uh, good luck with this tune, You Piney Mountain, the Ernie Carpenter Way from Wild and Wonderful West Virginia. I'm Chance McCoy and thank you so much for watching this lesson. <laughs>